Annyeonghaseyo and welcome back to All Things Korean. In this video, I'm going to teach you 10 Korean verbs that all translate to where. Now when it comes to this particular verb, English has it really easy because you can just use one verb for pretty much every clothing article or accessory. You wear a t-shirt, you wear shoes, you wear glasses, you wear makeup. But unfortunately in Korean, it gets a lot more complicated. And in fact, the verb that you use depends on what kind of item you're wearing, where on the body you're wearing it, and how you're wearing it. So by the time this video is done, your mind might be all like but all of these verbs are pretty relevant and I think they're all useful to know. So with that being said, let's just get started. The first verb is 입다. 입다. This is just the regular verb that means to wear and it's used for most clothing items that cover your body like t-shirts or coats or, or pants or even underwear. 저는 치마 입는 것을 싫어해요. Number two is 쓰다. Now, you might know this verb to mean to use or maybe to write, but it also means to wear. But here's the catch. It only applies to items that you place on your head or your face. So anything that you wear from here upwards, you use the word 쓰다. 모자를 쓰다. 안경을 쓰다. 마스크를 쓰다. Number three is 신다. 신다 also means wear, but it's only for items that go on your feet. So what goes on your feet? Socks and all types of shoes. You would use the verb 신다. 저는 하이힐을 신으면 발이 너무 아파요. Number four is 매다. 매다. Pay attention to the spelling. It's 매 with an a, e. This verb is for items that are strappy and that you use to tie a knot or secure into place. And that sounds really weird when I say it like that, but basically it's for neckties and belts. Necktie를 매다, because you tie a necktie. Though in English it still translates to wear a necktie, right? You can also use it for seatbelts. 안전벨트를 매세요. Number five is also 매다, but it's a different spelling. It's 매다 with an O E. So pronunciation-wise, they're same, but because of this one vowel, uh, it changes the whole meaning. So 매다 with an O E means to place or hang something on both your shoulders. So basically, it would be for things like backpacks, 배낭을 매다. Or it can be for like suspenders, 멜빵, 멜빵을 매다. Anything that goes on both shoulders is 매다 with an O E. Number six is 차다. 차다 is a verb that you use for things that you attach to any part of your body. So I guess if it's anything that's like fastened directly to your skin, then you would use this verb. For example, this verb would be used for uh, watches and bracelets. 시계를 차다 or like handcuffs. 수갑을 차다 It can also be used for diapers because technically diapers are fastened to the baby. 기저귀를 차다 Number seven is 두르다 두르다 is used for items that are long and strappy again, but it's worn in a wrap-around fashion. So anything that goes around your body would be paired with the verb 두르다. So it's for scarves, 목도리를 두르다, or aprons because technically aprons they you know they go around your body. 앞치마를 두르다. Number eight is 끼우다 or 끼다 for short. And this verb is used for inserting things and then like making it stick. I don't know if that's the best explanation, but just think of uh, rings and gloves. You're, you're sticking your fingers into the ring or to the glove. So wearing a ring or wearing gloves would be 반지를 끼다 or 장갑을 끼다. Number nine is 걸치다. 
and technically I wouldn't really translate it to the English word wear. I would translate it more to something like throw on because 걸치다 means to hang something on on something else. So when you're you know being casual, oh just throw on a jacket or something like that, then you would use the word 걸치다. 자켓 하나만 걸쳐도 스타일이 완성돼요. And number 10, the last one is 하다. 하다 just means do. But we use this verb for wearing makeup. 저 오늘 화장했어요. It can also be used for accessories that are kind of vague and you don't really know what kind of verb to use, like 귀걸이를 하다 or 목걸이를 하다. Although you can use verbs like 차다 or 끼다, things like that, you can just go with 하다 instead. But because 하다 cannot replace every single item or verb, it's just best to know the difference between all 10 of these verbs. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Save this video and make sure you remember all 10 verbs if you want to make any sort of conversation about clothes. I'm sure all of these verbs will come in useful during your Korean journey. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to All Things Korean for more Korean related content. And I will see you in the next video. 다음 영상에서 만나요.